Who's the last guy? Oh, it was the guy in the truck. Oh my god. I've never cut somebody like that before. What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And if you've seen any of this game before, you probably have a pretty good idea that it's always about killing everybody. Except for today. We're leaving the murderer lifestyle behind. Today, we become a thief. My main objective for the episode is gonna be to break into a bank, but I'm not really quite at bank heist level yet. You know, I'm a first time thief. We need to start off small. So we're gonna knock over, ow, this nude manor that I've heard of. They probably have some cool stuff. That's spooky. Sir, are you okay? I think he's dead. Why? Why am I trying to steal from a cursed naked man's house? What? Oh! You see? Okay, that's actually kind of creepy. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a weapon right about now. Oh! Oh, what the <laughs> What? <laughs> why am I getting scared by this game? How did they just make naked men appear? You guys aren't really that terrifying right now. They just appeared out of nowhere, right? I'd like your weapon now, please. Okay, that's that's mine. Ow, rude. Okay, stop punching me, you ass. I know that you just came out of nothing. <laughs> but, oh, uh, that's, that's not good. I've never been jump scared in Paint the Town Red before. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I could do better. Somebody dies and then they fall through the door? No? Oh, he's over here now. Oh, he's got a bat through his torso. That's not good. Can I have that? Thank you. <laughs> the naked man, they just appeared. Like, right here. How did they... How did they do that? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's super cool. <laughs> We've never seen that in a level before. Um, well, if they weren't dead before... Oh, okay, yeah, no. Back, back, demon. Back. I'm just here to steal stuff. Oh man, I don't want to go anywhere now. I thought the naked guy over there was freaky. Let's go over to him. At least he's not invisible, right? He's just hanging out here. Floating chairs, floating stuff. Oh, is that a sword? No, it's just a knife. I'll take my bat. What are you doing? Oh, oh, large naked man, go away. No, ah, what the hell, where are they, where are they coming from? Ah, they're coming out of nowhere. I think they're popping out of the walls. Is that is that what's happening? Ah, okay. One large naked guy down. Oh, this naked guy's on my side. Yeah, we're gonna be friends. Hit him. Hit him. No, I'm gonna sneak him around. He's running. Get him. Get him, Fluffles. I always knew you'd have my back someday. Yes, Fluffles, do my bidding. <laughs> that guy that was Blair Witching in the corner totally had it coming. There we go, okay. I'm not even gonna do any work right here. You can finish him off. The blood's gonna be on your hands. I just came here to rob stuff. I didn't need murder charges. Do I need a naked exorcist? What is going on right now? Just finish him off. There we go. No, no, Fluffles. Fluffles, we were in it to win it. Don't, don't. Okay. Listen, dude, I know you died to a bunch of burly naked men and it's probably the worst way to go, but I still need this bat. We don't even need to go over here, right? The couch ghosts, they can just hang out. I have to go down here because I need to go upstairs. Where do they? Where they go? Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, I see you. I know your tricks. You're not actually ghosts. You're just a weird naked cult, which is probably worse. Go away. There we go. Giant naked guy down. We're, they're just like hiding in little closets. Oh, yeah, you see that? Hmm. I still don't know where the couch guys came from, but I don't really care all that much to be honest. Blair Witch, dude, are, are you with me? Are you with? You're not with me. Okay. Uh, let's go upstairs. Uh, that's Blackbeard's dong. No, back Blackbeard. Stop, 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 stop. I love the beard, but you just go away. Go on with you. I, I'm not even stealing stuff right now. Where do they come from? I don't even have a weapon to defend myself. This is like a bad horror film where a guy just shows up wanting to steal like five bucks worth of stuff and then he gets jumped by a, a cult of naked man ghosts. That's totally a movie, right? I'm pretty sure it was... Ghost Dad? Was that what Ghost Dad was about? I can't remember. Uh, I got a shovel. Come at me, ghosts. Oh, oh, no, I didn't actually mean it. Don't, no, don't come at me. Whoa. 
<laughs> okay, you guys are getting a little bit too kinky. Even the chairs are possessed. Stop it. Get back. I have the holy cube of orangeness. Get back. Be gone. I don't know. Just, just go away. Your naked friend left. Oh, he's coming back. Crap. Okay, yeah, the, uh, he's been expelled. Ow. Superman punching is rude. There's so many of them, and they're so big, and I have nothing but pool balls to beat them back with. That's right. You best run. I don't know why I'm still here. If I was a good thief, I would just run away. I would leave this place. Uh, where, where did we go? I think we went in here. Yup. This would be where we were. Anything? Weapons? Give me a katana, please. Get oh, okay. Hi. Y we cool? I think we're cool. Yeah, okay. It's just gonna give me a little bluish, purplish ball to defend myself. That's that's great. What is this? Is this a way out? Oh, I'm getting out of here. I can just leave, right? Right? What are you guys doing in the basement? <laughs> this level is so creepy. Okay, let's check around back. Oh, I get in here. Interesting. Uh, that's Mario. What? Is this the demon god that they worship? All hail Morio. Okay, good to know. Oh, we can get into the basement. Oh, there's a bat. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's just go into the dark, naked basement with all the Morio worshippers. Hello. Hello? Is that ketchup? Whoa, 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 whoa! Back, back! Stay back! No, I don't want your apple! These window lookers seem kinda chill, so maybe I'll just let them be? I think that's pieces of people upstairs. This level is really creepy! Okay, hey, hey! No, no ch- Oh, I hate it when I don't have a weapon anymore! I'm gonna get my shoes dirty! I'm a big advocate of naked people rights. Why do they do this to me? Why are you giving me cue balls to defend myself with versus an army of giant naked men? Okay, there's gotta be a weapon around here somewhere, right? I, I, I've gotta be missing it. There's gotta be something, anything. There's, there's so many boxes. Oh, a spear! Spear is definitely, uh, it's kind of, okay. You know what? <laughs> there is no way to defend yourself versus an army of naked men with a cue ball. I think we're just gonna call that a level. Very terrifying, interesting, naked level. So here's what I propose, because I know some people hate it when I give up on a level. We're not gonna give up, we're just gonna move next door. I'm sure the neighbors of the creepy naked Morio worshippers have a lot of valuables that we can steal, so we've moved on to another mansion, and this time I get a katana, so that's a good start. Uh, what's that over there? Something like way out here in the darkness. I can't even get over there. Is like an invisible wall? Weird. Okay, so this would be the mansion. They have uh, people working on the gate and security guards. Again, I'm up for a challenge as long as it's not uh, a naked Morio worshipping challenge. Are you with me? Are you Are you a robber? Oh, maybe we're trying to break in. Maybe these guys are my friends, right? I mean, we're all convicts here. I'm just the one with a katana. Guessing you're the security guard. Probably not doing a great job right now. Oh! Okay. Not gonna lie, that was kind of rude, but I forgive you. Uh, oh, whoops, sorry. So, oh god, that was, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Is an accident's happen, right? So let's try that again. You coming in? No, okay. Well, we're, we're go. Oh, okay, security guard wants a piece now. Now you're doing your job. <laughs> Walks past the guy still working on the gate. Oh um, my, well, you know, it just means we need to split the rewards even less. We have less people to help us with the bank, but you know what, screw it, whatever. They weren't gonna really do anything. We can go in the front door or the side door. What's the front door have to offer? A chef, all right. And what does the side door have to offer? Darkness, a whole lot of darkness, which is a thieves' best friend, right? Uh, okay. Going on over here? Can we climb up? Ooh, look at me, being all DV-like. Oh, I snuck right past them. Cool. Make my way upstairs. Right? See, this is this is how you thief, right? You don't get assaulted by giant naked men. You sneak around. And you never see. It's gonna slip past everybody, a jaw. And uh why what is this? Sir, what is this? It's just is it water? 
Oh, it's the end of the level. Why? Yeah, I don't really know. I'm having this weird Groundhog Day feeling. This is the third time that I've done this, but I still haven't fully forgiven you for the first time. Oh, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I keep doing that and not intending to. That was intentional. So here's what I propose. I wanted to leave the murderer lifestyle behind and we will as soon as I actually steal something because right now we're not actually getting anywhere. <laughs> I keep dying or ending the level or running into a group of men sitting around watching a TV that's turned off. Have you guys been drinking the same water as the people next door? It's, uh, it's not good for you. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, you're welcome. Four people left. I see two over here, and then there's one on the bed. So who's the last guy? Oh, it was the guy in the truck. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never cut somebody like that before. Wow, that was crazy. Whew, sweet. Okay, well, you know what? Screw it, we're gonna go out and finish off the guy in the truck, and then this is essentially my mansion. I think we're, when I say we, I mean you and I, not uh, me and the team. We are gonna be ready to rob a bank, aren't we? Yeah. So I was on my way to the bank and I think I passed through a rough part of town. We got somebody breaking into this guy's house. He's naked having a smoke staring at his neighbor who's having a drink. Yeah, we got a bit of a feud going on here kind of want to take part, especially because they all seem really distracted. I might be able to pick up something here, right? We could do a little thieving. Okay. Gonna take this guy's steak. Uh huh. You see? Master thief. Put that, well, that's one, one thing. Oh God, I didn't mean to curl it across the lawn. <laughs> it's still good. I'm still gonna eat it. So I'm up one T-bone steak, right? We can even take that. Bam. Look at that. I'm stealing everything. Uh, knock knock, sword repair man here. I noticed that you have a couple swords that might be a little bit off balance. So I'm just gonna take a quick look at them. Yup, they're perfectly well balanced. I'm gonna head upstairs just to make sure you don't have any other swords or other valuables hanging around that need a little bit of balancing. Spear, you know what? Not really my expertise, but I can give it a shot. Um. It takes a very strong-minded individual to play the mime drums. You, you keep it up. I'm really proud of you there, Timmy. But, uh, oh, they're having a kegger on the roof. Who brought the Nintendo Switch? Whoa, whoa, people don't like the joke about the Nintendo Switch commercial? Okay, fine, see if I care. <laughs> we got a couple of Nintendo fanboys. Oh, God, the entire next door group is coming over. <laughs> I've started a neighborly war. What are you doing with that? No, get that out of here, that's too big. Uh, it's, that's mine now. What's your problem? Who brings a battle axe to a neighborhood party? Sir, put down the drink. You've had enough. No, you, you, you don't even know where your clothes are, sir. You need to have a seat. <laughs> this block party has gotten completely out of hand. There's still a guy on the roof. Don't worry, I'll get him. Um, swing and a miss. Won't miss this time because I know that this sword is perfectly balanced. I got both of his arms. <laughs> and he's still just standing up there like, what do you want me to do? I'm on, oh. Oh, what? <laughs> I was gonna say like, what do you want me to do? I'm on the roof, how am I gonna die? But uh, no, he just gave up. Didn't want to live the armless life. I mean, technically everybody's over there fighting. So everything in here is up for grabs, right? This is how you, ooh, this is how you thief. Uh, maybe not this room. Maybe we'll try the other rooms. Yeah, look, free toilet. Uh, what's that? Free knife, yeah, I'll take that, that's fine now. They have chocolate bar walls, very fancy. They definitely got some good stuff around here. That's the back door, nunchucks. Okay, these are probably heirloom nunchucks. <laughs> why does everybody have garbage lying around? Why, why don't they, they're just stacks of money? Somebody, ooh, okay, here we go. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is icy stacks of money. My thieving job is, yes, I needed the nunchucks, it worked. Okay, we're gonna throw the guitar out the window. Never mind, it wasn't a very valuable guitar anyway. We're gonna throw the money out the window. There we go. We are making off with fat stacks. I'm finally a thief. Thought I heard something. Oh, hello. What? Come on. I was about to say that everybody left the kitchen. I'm in the clear. And then somebody glitched through the door and murdered me. 
Okay, maybe we should start in the house with the money. Otherwise, I'm never gonna get my fat stacks. Hey, neighborino, do you need a spotter? I could just stand right here and put my ball sack on your forehead as, oh yeah, that, that's one, two, I wanna see five, three. No, that, that's not five. What a giant puss. Okay, well, we're just gonna leave him because I don't really wanna kick him in the head. I need my thieving nunchucks, don't mind me. That's still the back door. I swear I'm a good thief. Oh, there's a roof. We can go even further up. Maybe there's even more fat stacks up here. I do. This is kind of creepy, actually. Oh, we got guns? Guns and a seat for looking at the neighbor's house. That's kind of creepy. Oh. Oh. Hello, giant naked man whose blurry testicles. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to call your testicles blurry. Ah, okay. I'm just thieving, numbchucking. I don't want to murder people. I'm just not given any choice. Okay, they're going over there. Okay, hey, 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 calm down, calm down. No, so, okay, why doesn't everybody come in here and party with the fat stacks? <laughs> this is a very cheaply made guitar. You see, it just bounces right off your skull. This is not the place that I want to be right now. If I could just stab you all in the face, that'd be great. The entire next door party came over here. <laughs> okay, no, we're so close. One fat stack, two fat stacks. No, no, I'm so close. Rule number one of being a thief, don't call somebody's testicles blurry. Oh, uh, I don't remember you guys being in here last time. Is that a vibrating chair? Can I have that? He doesn't want to let me have it. Looks very fancy though, okay. And uh, you are just having a whole bunch of issues. If I lay these down, take this, we're good. I think we're good. Okay. They're not the brightest. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Let's skip it off the roof. Oh my God. We're so freaking close there. There we go. And the last one. And then I'm gone. We're got, can I, can I climb out through here? Can I? No, no. Okay. We're just going to make a very routine escape. Are we good? I think we did it. I got four piles of money. That's way more than I got from any other house before these ones. <laughs> okay. Success. And nobody's even pissed off. Well, you know, relatively. Just gonna bring this money back to my hotel room and I'm gonna shove it under a mattress and go to sleep because we are in the clear. That's a lot of police, that's a lot of police officers. What are they doing here, Ted? This is not what was supposed to happen. Oh, I got friends in the back. What are we up to in here? Wait, you guys are taking my money? Th this is my money. You didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> you weren't even there, man. You didn't see the blurry testicles. I can only trust the kitchen staff. Look, they've already got one of the police officers. We're investigating him. What are they doing here? Who tipped you off? Who's the rat? Was it Ted? I bet you anything. It was Ted, wasn't it? I swear to God. Billy the Snitch sends his regards. Oh crap, why do I keep doing that all the time? Fred, I'm so sorry. Ow. This is why I'm a lover and a stealer, not a fighter, because I keep killing people. <laughs> that was pretty great though. Beat that guy so hard with my meat, his head exploded. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, sorry. Hey, what the? Where did, where did he come from? Aren't you him? I think I hit him so hard he cloned himself. Get out of here. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're good. All the money is here. Nobody is taking it. What is this wavy thing in the wall? Oh yeah, now we're talking. Okay, are you dead? I think he's dead. Okay, so he's not gonna guard the money. I'm gonna guard the money. You get out of here. I don't want anybody to come in here and take it. Oh, okay, why are you attacking me with an apple? What a great police officer. I'm just gonna move forward and not let anybody get behind me. That's probably the best thing that I could do. So we could just stop them before they actually arm themselves. Anybody in here? Nobody got behind me? No, is there anybody back here in the police only? The kitchen is still clear. Okay. I think we're good. We just need to finish them off out in the main lobby and then I can get my money and get out of here. We need to find another hotel or something. This one's been compromised. Why haven't I gotten a countdown yet? I've killed everybody behind me. Oh, oh, there's more. There's, there's lots more and they're very big and very mad. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't gonna give you a cut anyway. This wasn't how the deal was gonna go down. Four left and it's only gonna take me two swipes. There we go. Okay, the money will get backed up don't worry about that. Uh, stop, stop dancing. No, stop with the jazz bone legs. It's not okay. We're out. 
But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And we never actually got around to robbing the bank like I wanted to. Robbing a couple banks, actually, because there's a lot of bank levels, but the home invasions were pretty good. I gotta say that first level with the weird Mario statue and the terrifying naked men, I genuinely got jump scared a couple of times. I don't think that's ever happened in this game, but if you guys wanna see me resume being a thief next episode, be sure to leave a like or let me know, and then maybe next time we'll be a little bit more successful. We'll go after a bigger haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.